Hey guys, Omni here. We just wrapped up three of our DC TV shows that we cover here on the channel, Supergirl, The Flash, and Batwoman this week, with D DC's Legends of Tomorrow still waning in the distance to close out this current season. A lot of those shows are not going to be back uh, to air until January 2021 or later, but thankfully, here to save the day with its first episode airing first on DC Universe is Stargirl, which is what we're going to be checking out here today. If you don't have the streaming service, you can always wait until Tuesdays to follow up as it will air on television on the CW network as well. I've been looking forward to this. There's a lot of ties to the greater DC connective tissue in this. It was set, This show specifically was also set up and teased at the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths, even though we knew, knew this show was going to be coming about for quite some time. And the trailers look fantastic. I think the visuals look really great and the costumes, the designs, and the, just the cast as well. I've been really excited and, and looking forward to checking this out. So I'm going to be reacting to this now that The Flash is off the schedule for quite some time. Uh, this opens up uh, some room for me to do live reaction highlights for this. So we're going to be doing that for each of these episodes as they release each Monday. So be sure to tune in. If you're interested to see my thoughts, my reactions to what happens in the episodes, we'll be doing that weekly until the conclusion of Stargirl. Unfortunately, once this show concludes, we're kind of left in the dust until January as far as DC content until um, either Wonder Woman comes out or something else happens. Um, who knows? Who's to say what's going to happen? In, uh, you know, you got Swamp Thing airing this fall on CW, but I've already covered Swamp Thing. I got a review of the first season, so... I don't know. We'll we'll find some stuff to play around with, but let's uh, not waste any further time and dive into the first episode of DC's Star Girl. And here we go. I love the DC Comics opening. The golden age of heroes protected the world for decades. Ten years ago. That golden age ended. You're not in the JSA, Pat. You're my sidekick. Ah! <laughs> Starman. Sylvester. You're the sidekick. You're not in the team. Love that. Oh. Dude, I love the effect so far. And the cinematography for this. Great opening already. Dude. <laughs> Get him! Is that Tigress and Sportsmaster? Looks like it. I told you to wait in the car. <laughs> Brainwave. <laughs> That was very anime. Oh. Come on. We got to get out of here. Oh, yeah, this is the Flash's helmet. An icicle? Yep. Grundy. Oh, there he is. There's Grundy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Dang, we didn't get a good look at Grundy though, but from what I saw, it looked pretty decent. They kept it headed in, uh, hidden in shadows, which was smart too. Uh-oh. Someone with honor. 
strength. I must carry the torch. Not you. <laughs> someone with grace. <laughs> but someone out there will. <laughs> but it, it is definitely not you. Oh wow. Way to way to have some respect for your sidekick, man. You are a good friend. One more thing. Well, that was one hell of an opening. Action movers. Nice. Please tell me they have a fat burger. No, Did he like move burger. in on? Starman's family. No oh yeah, I'm not worthy of your legacy. I'll show you what. <laughs> I want to marry your wife. It's got fresh air. Come on, buddy. This is ours. It's a mansion. What do you think? Hey, sorry. That's just that's real delicate. Yeah, thank you. You know what? I I, I got it. It's fine. Hey. Have a super great day. <laughs> Smell something? It smells like slime. Take any new pictures you'd like to share with us? Yeah, don't be shy. Leave her alone. She got on your phone. Hey! Give that back! Nice. It's my boyfriend, bitch. Yeah. Cindy, language. Sorry, Principal Bowen. Ah, oh, there's the place. Dude, look at all of these people, man. That Hawkman, too? Yeah? Dr. Fate? Stripesy. You think you'd put some, like, locks on some of these cases, like compounds, some uh, padlocks, something? This looks great. Where are we going? It's like tug at her, tug at her. I want to fly. We gonna do some gymnastics? Yes, we is. Oh, it would have been so funny if it just instantly dropped the second she grabbed it. Ambiguous. <laughs> hey, somebody's messing with your car. <laughs> it's like, let me beat him up. I haven't had a good fight in years. <laughs> You're dead, kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, staff. Probably should calm down a little bit. You almost blew up a little dweeb. Bad stick. Bad, bad stick. Bad. <laughs> Tell me again, son. What happened? The part about the staff, Junior. They had this glowing thing. It shot. I, 
I don't know, fire or lasers or something. Take the car, Dad. What did they look like? Who were they? It's too hard to see. A lot of tapes. What do we have here? Ah, oh, the staff came out. It's looking for... <laughs> what are you doing? No, it's like, I must be free. Joy ride with me. This is starting to all kinds of trouble here. Again, probably not the best thing to be just doing down the main street. Tires? <laughs> Holy crap. Is that is it the car? Dude. All right, that was a good good first episode. Holy crap. The I feel like I, all the performances were really good. The cinematography was A grade. Um the action I think was a little a little shaky in some of the wire work uh, for the most part, but it doesn't take away from it at all. It does it does give her a little bit of a floaty quality even when she's not on the staff particularly when she's on the staff like I can let it by uh, it doesn't really distract me all that much but I'll forgive it given this is the first outing for this character this is the first season so it's going to be there's going to be some flaws I'm sure but visually it's very stunning I like the dynamic between all the characters Luke Wilson is really killing this and selling it um Breck Bassinger is doing a really good job just in this blowing me away as Courtney uh, really digging that Amy smart, of course, fantastic. Um, a lot of the kids we've had coming in and going, um, I think they've been doing great too. I, I really, I, I don't really have any negatives as far as this show's concerned so far. And I love it. It was a lot of fun. I like the discovery. There's a lot of nice humor in it. There's a lot of really good heart too already. And the opening of this episode, man, was just choice between the action, the visual spectacle of it all, but then just the passing of the staff. And I'm getting the sense that he legitimately doesn't like, isn't making the connection here. I mean, I'm not as intimately familiar with Stargirl as I am some of the other DC characters. A lot of the people in the JSA I know a fair amount about, uh, but she's a relatively newer character about the time where I kind of uh, started losing my ability to keep up with so much of the stuff going on, so I'm not that familiar with the character. But what I like about it so far is really interesting. Um, but the dynamic they got there, I feel like it's really easy to piece these things together, and maybe it's just the way they are developing Pat in this, being a little bit of a dunderhead. Um, because, or just aloof, because I, I really, part of me wants to be like, oh, he was that guy. He was like, you told me that I can't be the hero, that I can't be your legacy, I can't use the staff or any of that stuff. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to go bang your wife. <laughs> I, part of me 
I don't I don't get that sense of Pat being that kind of a character whatsoever out of this out of this introduction of to him. But maybe it is this like Courtney says, this destiny, this the stars aligned and fate brought them all back together, united her with her father's staff, reunited her with her father's sidekick, even. Um but it still throws in that weird angle where he married into that family after all of that oh man i don't know there's some mixed <laughs> there's definitely going to be some mixed feelings about that especially i'm sure once he finds out it's true if it is i mean like i said i don't know the history i i guess i'm assuming like she is that the we're lining up the dots that her dad is Starman. could be wrong i'm gonna look this up just after the fact just because it's gonna kind of bug me a little bit um Aside from Grundy, Tigress, Sportsmaster, and Icicle, I'm not familiar with Brainwave um, and the, some of these other figures. I think he was the only one I didn't, I wasn't familiar with out of the, how many people were there that attacked the JSA? I can't remember. But Grundy, Tigress, Sportsmaster, and Icicle are the only ones that I've seen quite a bit. Um, so I'm curious to see how they flesh all of them out and unite. I'm feeling like Pat brought them here intentionally because he did say he was looking for something. So he was probably investigating the Injustice Society. Um, and he was probably trying to figure this out and he's been, you know, keeping up with them. Of course, he has these classified dossiers of each of the villains that were on the team that attacked the JSA. So I'm I'm sure he brought them that he decided part of his decision to move here uh, was to look into this as well. And it seems like they've probably got themselves rooted into this town. Now with the, the greetings of the local people there, I can say smaller towns like that. There, there is a lot of that. I grew up in one. There is a lot of friendliness that you might not see in a more urban or, you know, environment. So part of me is like, all right, I get it. They're new here. They're new to the town. People are greeting them. And then it, it, we keep seeing it. And I feel like they're doing it on purpose. So maybe, maybe something's, uh, something's influencing this town. I don't know, man. We do have a psychic, a psychokinetic person on the, the, uh, enemy team there. So who's to say, um, some of those people there at the school seemed a little shady. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. But I am really on board with this so far. I think it was really well handled, really well paced. The music choices I really enjoyed. The editing was really well done. And the cinematography was great. I liked all the shots, the way they, the camera work played, the compositions of everything. And again, the performances in this were solid across the board. Heck, I even like the little brother kid. Thought he was doing a great job too. Um... So far, I really get the chemistries between all the characters. I understand it. And of course, we've seen this kind of tropey setup before with the move, the stepdad, the reluctant child, and all of that. But as we know, that's all going to grow over time. But I feel like as this pertains to the show so far, I think they did a really good job with making it interesting, making it fun, and playing with that idea. They didn't. It didn't feel stale to me, and I thought they made it very classy um, and just a gradual transition into the world. No, honestly, the way she discovers the staff, I'm just like, seriously, after all this, Pat, you can't put a freaking padlock on any of these crates. Come on, man. Security. But I loved it. What did you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on this. What did I miss in here? Um, I'm sure there were some Easter eggs throughout this um, that I just kind of, I was too enamored with what was going on visually that I just, I probably missed a lot of stuff. So let me know if you caught anything down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the episode, the introduction to this character, this world that we're diving into here with Stargirl. Uh, yeah, solid. All the special effects are really good as well. Don't let me discount that. I thought the special effects were really well handled in this um, on top of everything else. So far, the show has been really well executed, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this plays out. So that being said, that's it, it for this episode, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I will catch you guys next week with the next episode of Stargirl. Thank you all. You take stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.